now on to part two of my Madame Leota project. So in the previous video, we pulled out the uh, projector that's inside the head. And you can see here, has the circuit board on here and it has a micro USB port in here. And there's files on here, on one of these chips here. So you need to make sure to access these files, you need to get yourself a data cable and not a charging cable. You have to make sure it, it will transfer data. So you're gonna have a micro USB on one side and a USB-A or USB-C, whatever your computer, uh, what ports your computer has on it. So you're gonna, to access the files, we're just going to plug in this uh, USB, micro USB in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the projector over and plug it into the computer here. And there are the files. So as you can see, um, we have me turn this light off. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so you can see here, um, here's all the files on here and they're in this .amv format. So I figured, oh, it's just another video format. It is, but it's a really, really um, obscure one. <laughs> I couldn't find any programs uh, that would read this. Um, so I, I currently have here on the screen is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, which I thought, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good one. It'll read everything, but it won't even read these files. So I did some research and I found that a .amv file is, um, I guess, used for anime and stuff like that. And I guess it's an older technology and a lot of uh, uh, video editors don't, uh, don't support this. So I did some searching and I came across this free software here. Let me pull it up. It's called Handbrake. Uh, looks like a little pineapple and a drink here. And this will take an AMV file and bring it to an MP4 so I can then bring it into here. And Because the reason why I need to see what this is, I need to find out what size this file is and what format it is so I can uh, make my video to match uh, what's, what this is so it'll look good on the head. So what I do, you, all you do is you just drag it over. It's gonna uh, bring it over here and I choose uh, the format I want it to be in, in um, MP4. I choose uh, where I wanna save it and then I would just click start and code. But I already did that, so I'm gonna close this and close this. I just wanna show you how I got to this point here. So here is the video. I drug it, I drug it onto uh, my, um, into here, into uh, Premiere Pro. Again, I am no video editor uh, expert at all. I just, I wanna do something with Premiere Pro. I'll just go on uh, YouTube or Google and say, how do I do this? And there are tons and tons of videos so and that's what I did. So I, uh, I wanted to find out what size is this video. So what I did was I just clicked on export and it shows me right here, the video is a 202 by 152, uh, 16 frames per second video. I said, okay, perfect. So uh, that's, that's the size I need to make my Madame Leota video. So I'm gonna go back to edit. And as you can see, Here's where I drug the Madame Leota video. You can see it right here. I drug it into the timeline. And what's cool is with uh, Premiere Pro is if you already have a video you're working on, it's gonna save the, uh, the um, information of that previous video. So I'm gonna delete this. And um, so when I went to drag it over, it says, hey, it's a different uh, format. Do you want to keep what's on, on here? I said, absolutely. So it did. But as you can see, uh, well, I have to rotate it, but see it, the video, she's actually facing this way. And I, I had to tilt it uh, to match um, the video that was on there. So again, I just looked online and said, how do I rotate it? So I just uh, found out you just go into your effects. Um, you click on this and there is right here under effect controls, there is right here rotation. So I just uh, put a negative 90 degrees and voila, there she is. I also uh, had to scale her back uh, because she took up the whole screen. So then there's another feature here called scale. And I found that a 58% right here uh, was the perfect size and it fit really nicely in there. 
So the video is done. Now I got to get it back onto the projector. Once I got this video down to the correct size, I rotated it 90 degrees and I also scaled it down to 58%. It looks pretty good. So let's see how it looks onto the projector, which was the biggest challenge. Man, I could not find any Thing. I mean, none of the software, even Handbrake, didn't have any way to convert it back from an MP4 to an AMV file. So I searched and searched and searched and tried a bunch of different free versions of uh, converters, that, so they say, that will change an MP4 into an uh, AMV file. And they were junk. None of them really worked that great. But I did come across this one uh, here. It's called, it's from AESoft AMV Converter. This one worked awesome. Uh, the free version uh, you can try, but it only gives you like real limited, uh, like one minute um, of, uh, or it's, it's, it's really weird. If it's more than, than five minutes, you only get two minutes. If it's less than a minute, you get nothing really. But anyway, so I tried just, you know, the, the free version first to make sure if it was gonna work and it did. So then I went and to purchase the, uh, the upgraded, uh, the registered version of it. I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks or whatever it was. So, so I got it and, uh, and I converted it over. So as you can see here, here's the, the video I, I, uh, from the uh, Premiere Pro. Brought it in here and then it's going to be converted over to an AMV and it did it. So it's right here. So I saved it over here into a folder. Okay, onto my... So there it is. There's my... Um, Madame Leota Edit AMV right there. And then, uh, so now let's get it onto the projector. So that's the next step. So I got the project, actually, let me open it up in another window here. It's on the F drive here. Open it in a window. Okay, there it is. So these are all the files that are on the projector. We don't need any of these. So I'm just gonna highlight them and we're gonna get rid of them. Are you sure you want to delete them? Yes, we do, because I don't need those. Now we're going to just take this one and just drag it right onto the projector. And there it is. So now the files are on the projector. So putting the projector back in the head and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so I was able to get the video I want on here. It was a little challenging, but I made a uh, how-to video on how I got the uh, the correct format and the correct size and everything on here. But I thought I could use the cable here that came with it, uh, the micro USB, but it is only H for uh, power. So uh, you're gonna have to make sure you get a USB A or C, which is uh, this end here that goes into your uh, computer to a um, micro USB. So whatever your computer has, you want a, a micro USB to either a USB A, which is a big fatter plug or a little USB C, which looks kind of like this. So it depends on your, your year of your computer. A lot of the new ones are coming with uh, USB C's on the other end, but make sure it's a data cable so you can get data transferred over here. So I made a video how I did that. So I'm not gonna go into how I got the video on, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the projector back in here and then we're gonna give it a test. So I remembered when I, how I had it in here. I remember I put an X here, so where the circuit board was, so I'm gonna put it right back. So before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in these plugs. Here's the power, snap. You wanna feel it snap in there. Here's the controls for the uh, front. There it goes, nice snapped in there. And last but not least, the speaker, which is over here. Okay, speaker's in. All right, so let's get this guy put in here. There he is. Get him nice and seated. I'm gonna get the two smaller screws that I put aside for the projector. Put them on my number one Phillips here. I got my lovely wife, Michelle, helping me with the camera work here so she can, you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, well, that was easy. So the camera's back in, uh, the projector's back in. 
all plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this head back together, which you saw me how take it apart earlier, and then we'll give it a test. All right, so the head is put back together. Put the projector back into the head, put the head back together, and I'll show you the results. <laughs> 